ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Review. Staying in front of you is a new piece from La Terrain. I actually reviewed their GMT a couple weeks back, and I thought the quality was pretty good for the money. So I got this one into review. This is more of a dive watch, obviously. It's called the Subnautica. It's a three-handed date. And I think it's a pretty nice looking watch. What I really dig is the case on this one, is Dome Sapphire Crystal. It's a case I've never seen before, and it's actually really, really nice. The quality of the case and the finishing on the case is very nice. You might be getting slight reflections there. We do have a domed sapphire crystal, that's probably why. But anyway guys, let's jump right into it. So as I stated, this watch itself does sell for $299 direct from La Terrain. It comes with a two year warranty, a nice little box, and the shipping is always really good. Uh, they're located in the United States of America and um, they do send worldwide, I believe they do ship worldwide. Um, yeah, they produce some pretty neat looking watches, nice automatic divers, uh, an automatic GMT, which I reviewed, you can check back in my video log. Anyway, the watch is housed in a solid 316L stainless steel matte brush case, as you can see here. Very interesting case design, as you can see those lugs kind of curve inwards, which are very nice. They curve inwards that 22, uh, that 20 millimeter lug width. And I don't know, just the case is very different. I just haven't seen this case design before, and I think it's really cool. The watch itself, as you can see here, has a nice grainy dial. Uh, it has some kind of, you know, a little bit of a, you know, fotina going on here with the numerals. You have a nice orange sweeping seconds hand. You do have your sword-like minute and hour hands. Very legible watch, as you can see. You have your date cut out at the 3 o'clock position. Then you get a dome sapphire crystal, crystal with anti-reflective coating. A screw-down crown here, as you can see. 200 meters of water resistance. Great, great lumen. on this 120-click bezel here, which is ceramic and highly polished. And it has that nice fotina as well. Everything kind of really flows together, you know, with the bezel, the dial, the hands. Everything looks really nice. Definitely makes for a very legible and easy to read 200 meter dive watch. Now the watch itself is using the NH35. Um, as most of you guys are very familiar with this movement, the NH35 is hacking hand winding. It has about a 40 hour power reserve. They're very reliable. They beat at around three Hertz um, or 21,600 beats per hour, as you can see there. Nice orange sweeping seconds hand. This is running the NH35, so you could ex you should expect, you know, plus or minus five seconds or so per day. Uh, they're very reliable movements. Most of you guys definitely have had experience with some of Seiko's NH35 movements. It's a very common movement in an affordable dive watch. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, this watch is 200 meters water resistant. You can definitely take this one uh, diving or swimming in the pool or the ocean. You should be good to go. We have a screw down crown here, which is signed with the La Terrain logo. Uh, very nicely signed, as you can see there. You can see that nice dome on that sapphire crystal as well. Very nice pronounced dome. Now, in terms of actual dimensions, we're looking at 40 millimeters in terms of diameter, only 12 millimeters thick. That is not including that dome sapphire crystal, but is including that 120-click uh, bezel. So you have 40 by 12 millimeters thick, 49 millimeters lug to lug with a pair of 20 millimeter lug widths here. The bracelet itself is kind of an oyster style bracelet, as you can see, with highly polished center lengths. Um, we do get solid end links as well, and let's take a look how it fits to the case. As you can see here, everything fits really snug and nicely, no issues there uh, whatsoever. As you can see, that nice coin edge bezel. We'll get into the bezel in a second, and flipping to the case back, you can see we do get solid end links. So the bracelet itself is a oyster style bracelet, I'd say. Um, it is using pins polished on the flanks as well. And you get a uh, pretty simple clasp here with the La Terrain logo. Open it up, two buttons, and it's a stamped clasp. It's probably the only thing I would change on this watch is to put a milled clasp on here instead of the stamped clasp. To me, it really doesn't bother me so much, but I know there are some people out there that are really you know, fanatics about that. We get three micro adjustments on this clasp, and I really do like these simple clasps. They keep the watch slim. It keeps it slim on your wrist. This is a 12 millimeter thick dive watch. You don't want a huge ratcheting clasp on here, as you can see. Everything looks in tune with the case, with the clasp. Size is perfect. But anyway, the bracelet itself is pretty comfortable. You can also change this out if you want to. It looks great on rubber bands, a NATO band, or anything of that nature, of course. Um, definitely can you know try a lot of different straps. Even a leather strap would look okay on this watch. Taking a look at this case back, as you can see, they put the La Train logo here, NH35, all stainless steel, 20 ATMs, Japan automatic movement, pretty simple. Nice detail on the La Train logo, as you can see there, looks pretty nice. You do get a glimpse of those solid end links as well. Case back brushed and screwed down. Now, the bezel on this watch is 120 clicks, as you can see here. Um, fully loomed as well. 
Everything is loomed, all these numerals, minute markings, hour hand, minute hand, and the bezel is loomed. Black ceramic bezel, 120 clicks here. It's actually really good action. Very audible clicks, really no back play. Very, very minimal. And I believe everything does line up to that, oh, I went one click too, too much. Everything does line up to that 12 o'clock position, as you can see there. Uh, so very nice to see. I really do like that dial. As you get in a little closer, you can see it's quite grainy. It's like a black grainy dial. It looks really nice with the orange subnautica over there above the six o'clock position. You get the La Terrain logo. Everything is very, very nicely printed. No errors whatsoever. It looks pretty slick. This watch does have a lot of loom and the loom is really, really good. I must say I was quite surprised by the loom. Heavily applied and it glows for quite a long time. Glowing green, loom on the bezel. Uh, the hour and the minute hand and all the numerals as well. So let's uh, shine the torch up and let's take a look at it guys. As I stated, the loom on this watch is very potent and definitely good enough for a dive watch. The loom is really good. Look at those hands, those numerals. The bezel is even just as bright as the hands I'd say. Uh, so definitely a really, really potent loom. Definitely easy, easy to dive with, easy to read at night as well. Definitely a very good loom. Planted on my 6.5 inch wrist, you can see 40 millimeters by 1249 lug to lug. Fits me just perfectly, no issues with the fit whatsoever. It actually wears really comfortable this case as it kind of curves down towards the lugs, uh, which is nice to see. Also very legible as you can see at all different angles. Definitely has a distinct look, doesn't really look like anything else out there on the market, which I do like. Haven't seen this style before, and I think it's a really nice look. Very legible, as you can see at a quick glance, you can read that time with no issue. And the bracelet's definitely comfortable, so you can definitely keep this on the bracelet if you want. I'm one that really likes uh, rubber straps on dive watches. It just happens to make the watch a little lighter, and that's just my personal preference. But uh, yeah, looks great on the on the uh, stainless steel bracelet. So furthermore, guys, there you have it. This is the La Touraine Subnautica. A really cool, interesting dive watch from a brand we haven't seen much of so far. Um, I did review their GMT, like I stated. That is a really cool watch as well. I just love this case design. Just look at this case. It's really, really smoothly brushed. It's just really smooth and it kind of comes downwards here, which is really nice. You can see that bezel. It's kind of a vintage aesthetic to it, I'd say, in my eyes. Look at this watch. Nice domed crystal. Everything looks a little bit, vin a little bit, you know, vintage throwback style incorporated with some new stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And they put out a pretty cool watch for the price point. 300 bucks, NH35, bracelet, oyster style, great loom, 120 click bezel. Um, dome sapphire crystal. I mean, what, more, what more can you really ask for? 200 meters, screw down case back, screw down crown, and a nice case cut and design. I think it's a pretty good deal, guys. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, as usual. This is the La Touraine Subnautica from La Touraine Watches, which are based in the United States. I will drop a link to them down in the description below so you can check them out after this video. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Definitely like the video, share it with your friends, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye.